Uh, David's not just a kid. He, although he's young, he's uh, already becoming recognized as a national expert in his field. For example, he spoke before the uh, United States um, Department of Agriculture recently at a major conference presenting his project. The medicine and, wheel. The medicine wheel and the, the gardening. And he's also um, got a federal project to do something with some other places, too. So, you know, we're really excited to be able to have hooked in right from the beginning. David, is his mission in life, his ministry, is this kind of work, is the gardening, and is the spiritual gardening. And he's, he treats each plant, plant in a very sacred way, every single seedling. And he's very excited about anything green. He's been doing this since he was a child, but now we're suggesting to him through the Light Ministry, the Light University, that this is what you came here to do. This is your ministry, and to, to actually... Uh, treat it as it is a sacred thing because well let me go to my side I'm encouraging this because I believe we came here all of us humans came here to be stewards of our planet to take care of the animals and to take care of our plants and to take care of our water and our air and the earth underneath us just to take care <laughs> right as Kathy said um, we're a universal teaching center um, the idea was that um, we love everybody. And you know, my friends who are Christian will say, well, do you love Jesus? Absolutely, we love Jesus. But we also love Buddha and white buffalo calf woman and Muhammad and, and all the great teachers and traditions. And so we found a, a number of like-minded people over the years, uh, since 1992, who have felt that maybe their own traditional ways weren't working as well, and so they, they, they still practice those sometimes, but they really enjoy the work that we do as well. Uh, my name is Tom Norris. I'm the senior minister and founder of Medicine Science Spiritual Center, which we started in 1992. My name is Kathy Norris. I am also Reverend, uh, Reverend Kathy, Kathy Norris, uh, co-executive director of Medicine Science. We're a universal teaching center and the idea sort of came up that if all of these different religions who profess love as their main focus would start doing that uh, that they can they can come here because we have people from every different religion culture background choice life choices they all come here we they go to their own place of worship and then they come here to pray and meditate and we do a lot to help the world I hope <laughs> we th we're promoting peace and harmony with among cultures and the, all the different people so well my um, my interest years ago I, I got very connected to the Lakota and I'm a Lakota pipe bearer and of course the medicine wheel for all the tribes is just so powerful and we saw it that way too. We do the four directions and seven directions work ourselves, um, each one representing a, a powerful um, aspect of life and then um, so we use it as a meditation tool but we said this is such a beautiful symbol and it's, you know, we're not stealing the symbol we're just saying we'd like to use it because it's just so beautiful. And uh, so we've been doing it for years. People really are drawn to it. And what's funny in the logo, when I went to my Christian seminary, they'd see the logo and see the cross in the center, so they figured, oh, this must be cool. And so <laughs> I never told them what it was really about. Um, well, a few of them actually asked, and they, they really liked it. They loved the idea. So we've been, you know, we, our Native American traditions are really powerful in the church. And we, we, we so honor them. Well, we have something called the Light University. And so um, various parts of the um, university involve classes like uh, a ministry course for people who want to find out their life mission, uh, astrology, uh, Kathy teaches tarot, um, the Merkava light body, uh, ascension teachings. And so what could be more perfect than having an organic gardening for our spiritual center? Actually, uh, the medicine wheel is our logo for our spiritual center. And it seems to be everywhere, and David picked up on that, and he says, that would be really a nice you know, nice garden. And he says, and they actually, I've seen some in some books. Would you like to try that? And I said, absolutely. And, and uh, we're actually hoping to get it blessed by somebody that's actually 
actually Native Americans to come over and bless it and, and do ceremony in the garden to when it has its actual grand opening. So, and uh, we we're happy to have David teach it, you know, teach about what he was doing because he, you know, he's learning and he's teaching us so much. I thought it would be nice for other people to learn, learn from him as well. So, but with, with David's part of it is, is he's, I, we're giving him an opportunity, in, in my mind, we're giving him an opportunity to experiment with all of the, his concept and his ideas because he has a lot of new ideas. And he's, he's creative and smart, and he wants to be able to feed, teach people to feed themselves without even you know, going past their backyard. And, it's, and he's, he's going to be teaching container gardening for people who do live in the, in the you know, apartment buildings and, and have only small spaces. He said, you give me a windowsill or a, or, a, or a big pot and I can grow a forest there. Doing what you love makes you happy. And if you're happy, everybody around you will be happy. So it's like this is something we kind of promote in the in the in the spirit in our spiritual center is to do do what you love and see where it takes you. And there's we're talking about I mean there are people like to do all sorts of things, things that you wouldn't think that they would like to do. They still like to do these things.